Hi everybody and welcome to this week's Inside Baylor Sports from Kansas City. I'm John Morris. And I'm Lori Fogelman. You'll remember last year at the Big 12 tournament, both very exciting for both the men and the women. Of course, the Baylor Lady Bears coming away with a Big 12 championship in Oklahoma City. We'll check in with the Lady Bears over in Municipal Coliseum in just a few moments. Well, the men playing here in the Sprint Center. Remember last year, the men made it to the championship game, entering this year's tournament as the number three seed their highest ever opening tournament play Thursday night here at the Sprint Center against the University of Texas. The Bears come to Kansas City with one thing on their minds, a Big 12 championship. We're here to win the tournament. Baylor also looks for its fourth straight win versus Texas and third victory over the Longhorns this season. Senior Tweedy Carter comes out sizzling, scoring eight points in the first four minutes. Meanwhile, junior F.A. Udo is a force in the paint for which the Longhorns have no answer. Udo gets the pass, turnaround jumper is good from the free throw line. At the 15-40 mark of the first half, Lace Dunn picks up his third foul and has to sit the rest of the half. But A.J. Walton and Fred Ellis fill Lace's shoes quite mightily. Lead pass, A.J. Walton wow. fouled, but he hit the layup. Man. All year long, we've had different players step up and, and do uh, 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 good things when time was needed. And again, that's what makes a good team. I think uh, you, people can see that we have great team chemistry. Ellis, he shoots a three and he hit it. Lace was out. He's a, a big part of our offense. You know, we just need a little spark, you know, keep us going to have time to come back in. I feel like I provide that for us. You know, we had guys like A.J., uh, Epe, Tweety, everybody stepped up, so it was huge for us. Ellis, another three is in. Back-to-back -back threes by number three. Ellis brings the Baylor faithful to their feet, giving the Bears a 30-25 lead. Baylor's bench outscores Texas's 19-10, with Ellis and Quincy AC each scoring a half dozen, and Walton adding seven as the Bears head to the break, leading 43-39. Walton will drive in. Oh, nice. When Lace got uh, uh, in foul trouble, I thought the team really rallied, did a great job. And uh, going into halftime, we felt good from the standpoint uh, we were up and, and uh, we knew with, with Lays coming back and we knew we could uh, play a little bit better. Baylor returns from the locker room firing on all cylinders with Udo and Dunn seemingly scoring at will. He is itching to shoot. <laughs> Man, and Justin Mason was in his face and he hits the three-pointer. I knew me sitting on the bench that first half and do my team no good. You know, uh, they need me out there, you know, for, for the little things and also for the, for the big things. But, uh, the second half, I just wanted to come out and play. I came out and had fun. Other end, Dunn flushes it for the Bears with James chasing. Dunn will get the basket and the foul. The Bears use a 13-0 run at the start of the second half to grab control of the game. Dunn the run out for the Bears. Dunn with all that pent-up energy oh. takes it all the way and lays it in. Baylor leads by 12. We got our leading score back on the floor. Um, him and uh, F.A. took control of the game, and uh, that's what you got to love. As a point guard, it, I mean, it make their job a lot easier. Tweedy caps the run with a steal and a layup that is goaltended, stretching Baylor's lead to 15. He scores 20, and Dunn pours in 17 of his 19 in the second half. Tweedy drives another dish to Dunn. Oh, he lays it in, he's fouled. Udo leads all scorers, dropping a career-high 25 points. Here's a drive in, and Udo lays it in. And he's fouled by Dexter Pittman. We were just having fun out there, man. I mean, you can see it on our faces. We just came out, you know, they just got hot. You know, that's what he does. And we just, we just have fun and stay together. Udo working on Brown, shot up and in. Baylor hands Texas its worst spanking of the season, 86-67. The Bears' fourth consecutive win over the Longhorns in a performance that catches the eye of ESPN analyst and basketball legend Bob Knight. Anytime you, you beat them, period, you're doing something well. And I think it just uh, shows where our, where our program's at right now and what we've been able to accomplish. And again, all the credit goes to the players because uh, when you have players coaching, uh, they make us look pretty good.